It's fly day and this week we're tying a balloon Moser sedge, especially requested by Colin. Right, first of all, get a nice bed of silk and then we're just going to use a bit of super glue. This will help you to hold that flat foam in place. So watch your fingers. There we go. And then take it back. Now the body, you can choose a colour, but I'm going for Roma Moses' original colour, which used yellow chenille. So I'm going to tie this in. And then build it up towards the back of that. Let's tidy that up. Right. And then touching turns all the way up. And then going to be a little bit sneaky here. Just leave that out the way. And I'm going to put the wing in. Got deer hair, you can use elk hair. What you want to do, get a decent chunk, depending on size of hook obviously that you use. The smaller the pattern, the less the material. And then we just pull off. You can use a hair stacker as well. So first of all, have a look how long you want the wing. Right, that's about the right length. And then I'm going to be tying it in there so we don't want any of this in the way at all. So we're going to cut all that out of the way. Then put that up. And then pull down from underneath the hook. Right. And then what we're going to do with this, we're just going to carry on. So we're building up the thorax. Tie that off with the silk and then bring the foam back over. And then depending on how much of a balloon you want, pull it tight or slacken it off. Again, if you're fishing bigger rivers, bigger current, I'd have a bit more of a balloon there because it floats better. And then what we're gonna do Whip finish it there. And last but not least, get your foam and cut it off if you want to be. You can just trim it off there. And there you go, the Moser balloon caddies. It's deadly.